I'll see your head. What happened here? It's like an elephant landed on my forehead. He just went down, dude. He found bones in the crawl space in the basement. The alarm goes off, and the walkie-talkie, this creepy-ass voice, goes off. Was telling me he had a friend that was in here ghost hunting a week ago, and she got bit. All right, y'all. We got pulled over. It's because I look so damn good. What the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but somebody in trouble. They got the canine unit out. They're in West Virginia. I guess if you fall in a ditch or something, that takes like 10 cops. <laughs> <laughs> you and Cali, you have to solve it yourself. And no one's hurry out to figure it out. Really? Yeah. What do you think's doing this? The ghosts. The ghosts, huh? I know. Come on, open up. Please stop. I need my shoes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We all need a woman in our life. All right, all right. Dude, this morning I woke up to some stinky, oh, they still stink. But I mean, at least they're dry. Where we were at last night, super haunted location. Okay, last time we went though, it was muddy. So what do you prefer, babe? The mud or just wet grass? Just wet. Okay, yeah. I could deal with some stinky feet, but ugh, mud and stinky feet? Mm -hmm. Not your stinky feet. Not his stinky feet. Mm -hmm. you, want, you want a little smoke? No. Like, I almost ran into the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. What do you think? You're lucky, bro. Because you were in the trash, like, you were in like puddles of water. Yeah, it was. These are soaked. If I, I throw them in there, the people back home are be clenching their fists. So you did not just do that. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. All right, well, we got to go. I'm going barefoot. Yeah. <laughs> I have no other choice. All right, we are in the mountains of West Virginia. The name of this town is called Bramwell or Br Bram. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Oh my gosh, look at all those gray hairs. Holy sh. Oh, we had a great time. We were at Lake Shawnee Amusement Park last night with my boy Yasko, and he tore it up alone the entire night. We set up cameras around the whole park. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Today, we're on a brand new adventure though. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back west to Indiana, and then we have to come back east. It's just like, we're doing a lot of this, not by choice, just because that's the way the schedule worked out. But it's gonna be a great day, a lot of driving. I mean, not as bad as it's gonna be, but yeah, I hope nothing goes wrong today. Look up. Ah! <laughs> no, you got me good the other day. Yeah, I know. I wish I was recording you. <laughs> yeah, we're vlogging. vlogging. We're vlogging. This was probably the creepiest Airbnb we stayed at. Yeah, that was pretty wild. So when we went into town, which is just right over there, they do this ghost tour of all the different houses in this town. And guess what house was on that tour? That's right, the one that we stayed in. I have no idea any of the ghost stories, but it was fun staying there. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The rocking chair, I caught it moving on its own. And when I went to grab my camera, it stopped. Yeah. I have no idea where we're at. It, they have a Piggly Wiggly. What is a Piggly Wiggly? I had to make a pee-pee stop and a poo-poo stop. How frustrating is it that when you come to McDonald's, they don't have ice cream? Bro, all I wanted was a hot fudge sundae with Oreos. What the hell? <laughs> no, it was the air machine. It was this right here. That's what it was. Couple small issues here. So, remember how I was telling you that we lost our camera and we found it, and the owner of the Axe Murder House had it sent to the location that we're going to tonight? Well, I just looked up the tracking number to make sure. Thank God for Tiffany. We looked up the tracking number and it did not get delivered. It was supposed to be delivered. We had it overnighted and we need that camera because the SD card in it has an entire episode that we filmed with Eli. When I looked it up on the post office website, they said that it got, it was being forwarded back to Iowa. Huge problem. Cause we, we really need that camera. We need that camera to film tonight as well. But yeah, big shout out to Yasko. Cause he actually brought his camera that we were able to film the episode with last night. So what is the, what are they going to film with tonight if we don't have that camera and we use? Yes, well, we do have a, we do have two backup cameras. Well, if I stay here tonight, you also have my camera too. Oh, and here's the thing: <laughs> there is a possibility that Yasko is supposed to be catching a flight right now 
to, I think, flying out of Columbus, Ohio. The only problem is it got delayed and he has a connecting flight somewhere else. This flight got so delayed that the next flight that he's going to be flying out of, they contacted him and said that he has to rebook that flight because he'll be arriving way too late. So we don't know what to do. He's going to call up the airlines right now and see what options we have. I mean, worst case scenario, he'll fly to whatever city that the connecting flight is and they'll put him up for a hotel for the night. And then maybe you'll be arriving home tomorrow. But man, that stinks. I'm sure you wanted to get home. So I guess we'll figure it out. Always, always a problem. I just tried to call American Airlines. I called the exact number that they gave me to call. And they said they're experiencing higher call volume than normal and then just hung up. So I can't literally do anything. I'm gonna be stuck in Columbus, Ohio, or with you guys, preferably you guys. <laughs> and uh, that kind of blows. Wait, do you have any plans for like the next few days? Not necessarily. Why don't you just roll with us, bro? All right, let's do it. We'll find you a flight later on. Nah, that's all good. Yeah, this, this, this ain't so that? bad. Oh, this is awesome. Let's do a week. Yeah. I'm good. Let's go. Let's Fuck go. it. <laughs> Are you down? Yeah, 100%. All right. Let's do it. Well, all right. Oh, all right. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we are going to try. I'm gonna try and make the flight because I mean, we got money riding on this. You can't lose the money, but worst case scenario, he gets to hang out with us for a couple of days. I think the best case scenario. Yeah. Personally. If I don't see you, bro, I love you, man. I love you, brother. It was I a had pleasure. so much fun. Oh, I hope I get to see you in Thank a little you so bit. Much. Well, I'm coming in with you. Oh yeah, she's coming. Yeah, in. yeah. All right, I'll be waiting out here. All right, brother. What happened? Uh, we got him on a flight that leaves earlier and gets him home an hour later, but. He got a, a, a instead of flying into Philly now, he's flying into DC. Okay. So his flight leaves earlier and he gets home an hour later, but the layover is a little longer. But he's still getting home today, so. No, I wanted him to hang out with <laughs> us more. Yeah, he said thank you and bye again. And yeah, I know he wanted to hang out, but he has to get back home to his dog because he doesn't have like a babysitter like to watch the dog. dog. Yeah, dog sitter. Big shout out to my boy Yasko. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. He has some amazing videos. He has a vlog channel too. I haven't watched a lot of his vlogs. Have you watched any? Yeah. All right, yeah, you could drive. Dean, Fine. you're on TV, bro. Oh my God. Look, you're what the so heck? Tired. Can I add a little bit of lettuce, please? <laughs> Just a little bit. What does I'm it taste like? Well, you then then turn right, right onto like Samo Road. Or, uh, drink. Yo, Gene spotted this. It looks like a giant cigarette in the ground. What is that? That's a pole that got knocked over. You Interesting. Oh yeah, that's like a little ash. We should like go blow the fog machine at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how come everybody in this town got some messed up cars? Like, <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> what the heck? Tiffany's saying that this truck up ahead may be CJ. That is kind of crazy because we're supposed to be meeting with him in what, like three days? Yeah. But we're not supposed to be meeting up with him in Ohio because that's where we're at right now. We're meeting up in Texas. So this is a long way. I thought he was flying too. We should catch up, see if there's a Delaware plate on there. All right, we're getting closer, we're getting that's closer. I said so we could be chasing down a car that's not even CJ, <laughs> but we're getting faster to where we need to go. So let's go with that. True, all right, we're almost there. Let's find out. Let's just see. Might that be creepy? Yeah. Is it him? No. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Complete hey. opposite. He was like, why this guy got a camera on me? <laughs> That's some old guy. That's an older CJ. Maybe it's CJ in the future. We just witnessed it. Whoa. Imagine. Okay, we made it to Hartford City. We're like only two hours late because of traffic and of course, what happened to Yasko with his flight. I feel bad, but good communication goes a long way. I did let them know way ahead of time that we were running a little bit behind. I think this is kind of a small town, so they're not far away. Only thing is I feel bad for Josh, who I'm meeting up here. He doesn't live far. I think he lives just a couple hours away, but they have been waiting here for, what, like two hours? Yeah. We were in the middle of nowhere, and it's like now we're in this little city. What the heck? That's beautiful. That looks like the the castle that I just went to. All right, look who we have here. This is Josh. What's up, guys? And that's Sean. Big shout out to Rocky, he's not here. Right, this is the dungeon. So did the bad people get put down here? Yeah. Yep. 
Whoa, this is cool. What the heck? Come on in. Oh my God. This is terrifying. And it gets worse back in there. Actually, that goes back in like yeah, that's the dungeon. Cat dungeon. Part, Dude, yeah. this is like the Paris catacombs. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you can go back in there. Oh. You want to be back first there. back there? I can't see in there. You got it? Come on, go. Oh, we got to show me. Just go in there. Oh. Walk into the abyss. What is what is this for? Take it out, bro. What the hell is this? Oh, is this going to fit in here? Wait, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pull right over there. Yeah. On the other side of the wall is where I took that picture. So it couldn't be very tall. So it was like a small creature? Yeah, that picture I showed you? Yeah. See, this is the door right here, but on the other side. So that thing couldn't have been more than so tall. What oh, do you think it was? It goes all the way back there. Oh, I know. Is it big? Yeah, it goes all the way back. What's that like? Oh, you mean the creature or the area? Oh, the area. <laughs> Both. Yeah, I, that, that whole area is open back there, and then there's like... No, he looks like he's a little closer, so he could be a little taller, but still. Looks like group. But that's the bottom of the door right there, but on the other side of the wall. Yeah, there's like a whole spot back there. A ghost group is terrifying, though. This is where we're doing the interview? Yeah, yeah, why not? We have like a questionnaire. She yeah. has them, like the producer that we have working with, she's... She did like a whole beat sheet. She couldn't be here about her tonight, but she's gonna be kind of like the co-producer on this. But she has like a whole like, but she has like a whole like, what was that? Oh, is he in there? No, that was Chris upstairs. upstairs. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. It was Okay, this is the attic of the Blackford Jail, setting up some cameras around here. I wish I brought more cameras. I only have seven. I had eight, but I lost the plug to one of them. But right behind me, they used to do executions. So it's super haunted here. I don't even know how many executions they did up here, but it was a lot. Right there. And the owner was telling me that they had a noose that was here like as a trigger object. And he came to one day. One day he came back. He was like exploring up here. And he don't know if somebody was messing with him. So he didn't rule out the possibility of it not being paranormal. I think it's paranormal. But the knot to the noose was loose. I, I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but. The whole noose was untied. I'm pretty sure it was like right there. Yeah, they had a whole. Wonder if they used to hang them. I don't, know, I don't know how they did their executions, but we have a lot of setting up to do. Ugh. Turn these lights off. Creepy, bro. This red, this red pot keeps going off. Oh shit. Hello. Uh, all right, be nice to my friend later. It's not me setting that off. I'm gonna walk over here. Oh my God. What do you think setting that off? I don't know, dude. <laughs> so this is Chris, he's a docent here. He does a great job. If you come here to visit the Blackford Jail, ask for him, very knowledgeable. But, so Gene is setting up some cameras down in the basement in the dungeon area with Chris and he hit his head really bad. He is bleeding and everything. He's downstairs with Tiffany trying to take care of it. But as soon as that happened, a REM pod down there started going off. That REM pod started going off, yeah. Wow, it's like they got excited yeah. that blood was shed or something. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's, because I was upstairs when that, that happened up yeah. here. And this started going off. Yeah. Whoa, you guys like blood, huh? All right, so we're trying to find some power up here somewhere so I could connect this camera. Sean, if I never see you again, I love you. Oh. <laughs> I'm not hugging you. <laughs> Yo, Sean is terrified. You got this, man. <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, you're gonna be all right. Yeah, we're we'll gonna. be a walkie-talkie phone call away. Here, let me get one of you guys in there, Joe. Okay, we're doing something a little bit different. Being that the Blackford Jail, and we're so blessed that there's a really cool location just down the street known as the Speakeasy. We're gonna have both Josh and Sean at two different locations, but really close. So we're doing two different. So this is the Blackford Jail, and then Josh is going down to the Speakeasy that 
it's got Washoe Club vibes, in my opinion. It used to be a club, used to be a, a, the speakeasy thing was during like the prohibition times and you would like speak really softly and that's how they know that, you know, you're going in there to drink some alcohol. Place is super haunted. Now these guys have been to both locations, but not alone. And both of them are terrified of each location, but I think they're gonna do great. All right, we're here with Josh. Just set up some cameras for him. It's all fun and games until lights go out and you're by yourself. <laughs> Yo, this place is so scary. I can't believe he's gonna be here by himself. I feel bad for you, Josh. Now he's been in here before, not by himself though. And I don't think very many people come to this location by himself. The Blackford Jail, yeah. You say your brother is like terrified of the Blackford Jail? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Sean hates to be alone by himself anyhow. Uh-huh. Especially that place, because he's had so many negative experiences. Negative? Oh, man. Well, we'll be watching his back. We do have him on the actual cameras that we can visibly see. And here we're going wireless cameras. So, so yeah, I put a camera in here because this is a pretty good paranormal hotspot. I don't know if it has anything to do with some of the graffiti on the walls. Any ghosts up here? Um, well, she caught something and then he started coughing, which is what happened to me earlier, oh, right man. there. Oh well, yeah, she showed showed me like a, a shadow cast of this. Yeah, it was over there. And that was when we were doing our interview. Let me see if I can cover up the flash. Look at that. Whoa, that's so cool. And we heard footsteps during the interview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you hear it too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would not want to be in here alone. Okay, there's a hallway right down there. And there's a REM pod set up at the end of the hallway as well. This guy's got all kinds of gears. A REM pod in there. I got a camera in there. This is gonna be fun. All right, we should leave Josh so he can start on his investigation. And we'll check on Sean. Oh, scared. All right, here you go. That's for you. All right, this is it, Josh. It's your last chance to change your mind. I'm in it. All too right. Late. Too late to turn back now. You got this. Okay, see you guys. All right, buddy. Take care. Okay, so we're in downtown Hartford City, or it's just called Hartford City. But that speakeasy place is over, you know, around the corner. And then the Blackford Jail is over here. Owned by the same individual, amazing guy. His name's Dan. He's right over there. Big shout out to Dan. Dan is the man. Oh, so it's Blackford County. Blackford County, okay. I was wondering where that name came from. This is a neat little historic town. We got this church, like a, what kind of church is that? It's a courthouse. That's a courthouse? Yeah. What's the economy situation? Is it like kind of bad? <laughs> oh man. All right, there goes Sean. <laughs> look how, look at our setup. Like we're hooked up to the van. This is the only way we can really ensure that he is alone. And you guys are our witnesses here. They really are alone in there. Okay, we're gonna be really quiet. All right, fam, I'm here with my boy, Zach. What, what? Yo, yo. I don't know, like, I don't know how this guy lives out here. <laughs> why do you live out here, bro? Honestly, I don't like it. I'm trying to move to Florida anyways. I know why he lives here, because there's so many cool ghost hunting spots. That's the old Blackford Jail right there, and you got the speakeasy around the corner. But right over here, tell me about this house right now. So, actually, so Zach Baggins had the one in Gary. Uh -huh. And then once that was demolished, this was actually told several times by a lot of people, this is a second demon house of Whoa, Indiana. This is a demon house? That's what I've been told numerous times. Uh, Nick Groff came here and found uh, dead body, or he found bones in the crawl space in the basement. And ever since that, uh, a lot of stuff's been happening. That's insane. Did they ever figure out the story, like behind those bones? I, I didn't hear anything after. Now, how far is Gary, Indiana from Blackford it's, County? It's probably a few hours. Okay. Why is Indiana so haunted, bro? We've had battles here. And, I mean, there's Civil War stuff. And this place is just full of history. So Chris, which volunteers at the Blackford County Jail, was telling me he had a friend that was in here ghost hunting a week ago, and she got bit by a ghost. Like, I've never heard anything like that before, but she got bit. You ever heard anything like that? Like somebody getting bit? Uh, there's been teeth marks I've seen on people. Right. I have seen it on very few. That is terrifying. But not from here particularly. Somebody living there? No. 
Not as far as I know. So let's just use fur ghost hunting? It gives off a very strange vibe. But I guess you can camp in the back to backyard. You can uh -huh. rent it out for a few days and you can actually camp in the back and everything. Whoa. So that's pretty neat. They have actual huts there from, I think one of them is from the original battlefield. In the actual battlefield, you can tell where a lot of blood was shed. Oh, dang. So, so Zach does live streams on TikTok and YouTube. Go show him some love when you get a chance. Great guy, man. Like one of the nicest dudes I ever met. Ghostly and, travels with Zach. And he loves ghost hunting, <laughs> especially up here. Like he's always, every time I go check out his video, he's always at like a really cool, cool location. And that's why he's probably not moving to Florida anytime soon. <laughs> Cause there's just so much. If I lived out here, I'd always have something cool to film. I probably wouldn't even have to travel. Like even the Foreman brothers that I'm doing the videos with, they've, like I mentioned some locations to them and they've never even seen them because there's just so much here. There, there is, I mean, you got the theater you went to, the jail yeah. you went to, which I'm going to the theater tomorrow. Oh, the Fowler? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to that tomorrow. And then I'm going to um, the church they own. Oh, okay. Overnight. Um, I mean, there's just so much. So much out here. Wow. People don't really realize it. Uh, French Lick is one of the most haunted places you can go to, and that's in southern Indiana. Okay. I just went to another place called Canyon Inn that used to be an old sanatorium. Yeah, that's something else. <laughs> How was your experience here at Blackford Jail? I don't reckon, I don't recommend it for anybody going at night alone, even if you're new. Wait, would you ever go in there alone by yourself at nighttime? At I nighttime? Have. Oh, at nighttime, no. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this place is terrifying. I would maybe do about 10 to 15 minutes and be done. The Which... guy that's in there too, it's like, this is out of his comfort zone. All right, Sean is still in there. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't see him anywhere on the cameras. I want to see your head. What happened here? We were downstairs in the basement setting up the cameras and the basement's really low, so you got to duck your head. You weren't able to catch it on camera because ironically, it was like the only spot yeah, down fine. there that didn't have a camera. But what was your point of view? Um, you were laying flat on the ground, dude, and the REM pods started going off right after that shit happened. Did you see me get hit, or did you just saw me on the ground? No, you just went, you just went down, dude. I was walking, bro. It was like an elephant just you landed just on my. Laying on the ground. It's like an elephant landed on my forehead, or on my head. Are you okay? Yeah, if, yeah, it's fine. You got a knot, a little knot on your. I'm not gonna touch you. He touches it. <laughs> I didn't touch it. Dude, but as soon as he was down in there, that's the that thing. exact same spot, no? I think it was in here. Is that where the rim pot is? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I hit my head, the rim pot, as soon as I hit my head, the rim pot started just going crazy. That kind of freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I just got a message from Josh. I have to speak easy. And he said that things are going crazy over there. Like he said, is going crazy. He's kind of freaking out. I was like, hey, do you want me to go over there? Billy out. He's like, I'm good for now. Just want to give you an update. Can't wait to hear his story. All right, just got Sean on the walkie talkie and he's ready to come out for a break. He's been in there for about two hours now. I was like, come on out, dude. He's like, oh, I'm locked in. Yeah, we gotta, gotta let him, let him out. Yeah. Oh, there you go. How you doing, bud? Talk Josh just called me too. How's Josh doing? Yeah, is here, he on the talk, phone? Yeah, talk to him. How you doing, boss? Hanging in there. This place is pretty crazy. Doing? Doing? Oh sure. man. You doing all right though? Like you, you surviving? Oh man, I was right here. Right up here on the phone for you. I didn't think about texting you. Yeah, three times in a row. I heard this real loud bang, the alarm goes off, and this creepy ass voice comes across the walkie talkie. Oh, oh wait, the walkie talkie? And it was legit, like it happened three times in a row. Yeah, cause you're on a different channel than us. We're on channel 16, he's yeah. on channel 15. And see, I didn't get I, I didn't get a chance to tell your brother to change the, oh, no the channel. Yeah. That's nice. Well, no, I mean, I, I didn't want to bother one. your investigation. No, but. I was like, if it, if it would just happen once, I can see it was a coincidence, but it's like three or four times it happened. Damn. Well, I'm Crash glad you're okay. Crashing noise. It sounded like, you know what they were saying about the furniture moving? It sounded like furniture moving. Oh, you heard yeah. furniture moving? Oh, yeah. It sounded like that metal chair out in the hallway moved. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it. We're going to do a little recap. All right. Cool, man. You need me for anything, just give me a call. I'm right here for you. All right. All right, boss. 
This is so cool out here. I feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse. I guess it's kind of busy, according to Zach, out here on the weekends. Not so much right now. Just got a text message from Josh, and he is ready to get out of here. I don't know what he's encountered. We're going to find out here shortly. Got to get our cameras. Zach's going to give us a hand. Would you ever go in here alone? Yeah. You would? I have. Wait, not during the day, though. I've stayed here at night by myself really? for, a little, for a little bit. Bro, I give you a lot of credit. This place puts I don't, out I don't spooky think it's that vibes. Bad. Really? I really do not. Well, let's let's see what happens with Josh. Oh. <laughs> uh, you all right, man? <laughs> I hope I have the key. Oh, no. It broke. It's not working. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Ah, there we go. It's like opposite. You all right? Like at first, it was just walking, and then you would hear bangs, and then I heard this real loud ass bang. The alarm goes off. And the walkie-talkie, this creepy-ass voice, goes off. So did it again. Loud bang, alarm goes off, voice comes over the walkie-talkie. That helped validate it. And then a third time, it did it. And then there was another time, it sounded like a piece of furniture went sliding across the floor. That's, the same thing That's exactly what Chris said. It was so yeah. loud. Did you get anything in the card room? I just went to areas that felt creepy and focused on those. Banging in this place is just absolutely crazy. And there's, and this, there's nobody in here. Then this EVP I got, and I heard a male voice and a female voice. Well, you know there used to be showgirls and stuff. It said, maybe of the night. That's been seen around here. And, and you Abigail's can... the one that kept talking to me. Oh, and you can hear heels clicking on the floor. All right. I think out of this contest, uh, who, who do you think won tonight? I would say me. 100%. <laughs> hey, but Sean's still in there. Yeah, but I guarantee he didn't experience what I did. Oh, I, can, I cannot wait. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. How's it going, man? We came to rescue you. Holy You all right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna zoom in on you, okay? And action. Yo, this is probably my favorite Airbnb. We didn't have much of a choice out here in Indiana. Dude, this is so cute. This is the coolest house. There is like two twin beds up there. It's like a little tiny home. By the way, it is 6.30 in the morning. We filmed for about nine hours. Have no idea how we did that. Two people too, in two different locations. Dude, this is awesome. Wow. We literally have five hours to sleep. God, this bathroom is so cute. Let me see. <gasps> oh my God. I, oh, so I can back out. <laughs> this is a very tiny bathroom. I love it. I love the tall ceilings too. Wow. This is probably my favorite Airbnb. Yeah, that we've... 100%. I mean, we stayed at some pretty nice ones already. All this right. one's so pretty too. And then, but wait, there's more. Whoa. It's even better with the lights off. Look at this. Cool. I love it. I'm going to bed. <laughs>